So this is uh, you enter the UK, uh, but we're going straight to the cafe because it's breakfast time. And uh, our daughter's telling us they do a full English breakfast in England. That's only two pound fifty. I don't think you'll get that here. But it's uh, quite a pleasant surrounding. We'll have a look, see what we can get. Nobody in yet. I don't know how this compares with the uh, full English that you get in the UK or IKEA stores in the UK, but I've got two eggs, uh, two slices of bacon, uh, not exactly an English sausage, but uh, a nice roll of bread as well. Uh, and that was 3 3 euros 95 so not a huge difference in price. Uh, I've had a coffee as well, and uh, coffee is... Part of it. Well, actually it was included, so uh, this full English breakfast includes the coffee. Um, so it's hopeful, I don't know how it compares in England. Anita's gone for the a different option, healthy option. She's got some salmon, smoked salmon there. And uh, I must say that does look very good. Uh, and she's also gone for a yogurt with some fruit, some strawberries. And she's had a coffee. Uh, the total bill for everything there was actually 11 euros, uh, 11 euros 85 cents. So just continuing on our theme of uh, how prices compare in uh, different parts of the world, I've come to IKEA and IKEA is uh, well, all over the world and uh, well, I don't know whether you can compare prices or not. Uh, a towel, 120 by 55 centimeters, just a very simple two euros fifty. Cheap enough. I don't usually like going to IKEA. The problem with IKEA is you have to go and see everything. You have to follow their arrows. But I'm guessing that things that they have here in IKEA, they have in IKEA's over all over the world. And uh, I was looking at something for my um, engraving machine, and uh, someone in America had been to IKEA and bought them, and I bought them here, and they were considerably less here than they were in America. Um, so I don't know. Candles. Come early in the morning, had breakfast, and, uh, so it's nice and quiet walking around here. It's usually pushing people to one side to get through. <laughs> I think probably when we come normally it would be on a Saturday afternoon when everybody else is out doing the shopping. Well this is mainly what we've come to have a look at. Anita fancies one of these lights but I'm not sure she's going to be able to do her knitting by that. Well, let's see. Serena's table here. England Serena's just bought a, a dining table. Don't think they've got anything similar. She's bought a really heavy looking table. That's it. Is it. One of these? Bigger than that. No, this is bigger. it here in front. Oh, this one. Oh, this is this is the table she's bought. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? So how does the price compare here? It's uh, 235 by 100 and it's 619. But if you're part of the family, are we part of the family? No. It's only 509, so I don't know whether she's part of the family. These are euros, of course. She's had this light as well. And uh, she's had that light fitting. And that's 69 euros here. We're going to paint their chairs black. They've already got the chairs, so yeah, just a little bit of painting to make them look like that one, I suppose. It's a 
big table. Isn't it? Big, big table. It's been heavy to carry that in. Did Leon say there's a gap in the middle of it? So what uh, Leon observed, there is a space between the two tables there. So it all comes in different parts and then you assemble it. all the different kitchens here. We actually had our kitchen from Ikea and you choose all the different things so our cupboards are actually very similar to these with different handles and knobs. And Anita decided she wanted a ceramic sink and I wanted a granite top so yeah, that's what we ended up with. I'm happy with our kitchen, aren't you? Yep. Suits us. Some little steps there. 39 euros, 25 euros. And we set up our office and our business. I think most of the furniture came from IKEA. And here we've got bedroom, bedrooms and bedroom furniture. Bathroom, shower. You can get more or less everything. And uh, when we had the kitchen, they they also uh, arranged for how to get all fitted. That didn't work so smoothly though. Took a long, long time. Seems to have gone around very, very quickly, much more quicker than I expected, and we're uh, on our way down now. Uh, so we'll go down the steps and right to the lower level, which is, for me, has got more interesting things. And he's just getting a trolley, so she's obviously thinking about buying things. So quite large jars, 1.8 litres, 5 euros. Box, 13 euros and here we've got all the sort of kitchen stuff about a glass for every occasion, I think. Cushions. Big ones. Little ones. Tiny ones. We've got bedding here, so speaking to somebody about um, Duvets and uh, got a duvet here. Single bed for 14 euros. Very thin one, I think. Probably that's all you need here. Shower curtains, we were looking at those. We didn't come here to look at them though, did we? No, we did get one. <clears throat> Two euros fifty. A 
bath mats. Oh, it's washing bags, isn't it? To stick in the washing machine. Not wearing one of them, do you? <laughs> I don't know what they're for. Are they sleeping in or are they? Sleeping bags. I suppose you could sit in one of those watching the TV, keep you cool, keep you warm, wouldn't you? Like a dressing gown, I yeah. Most people have terraces here, so that's where they put the washing, so those are quite handy things to have. Ranging from the small one at 9 euros to the bigger ones at 32 euros. Well, Anita's got a light and a bowl. And someone to fix it for me. <laughs> fix it, I don't think. It's just take it out of the box and <laughs> plug it in, I think. Oh. Lots and lots of candles here, and that's something Anita always tends to buy. She's got a range of them here, different colours. They have a bargain section here, bits, odd bits that haven't been used or something. That's a piece of wood I bought for a euro. Should I be able to make something with that? <laughs> Add it to my collection. So we've checked out and there's another opportunity to go to a cafe or they actually sell some food things that you can take home and uh, meatballs used to be one of the things we used to get from here.